But throughout the night, she was breaking shit. She was swinging knives. She threw a douce bottle off the second floor and it shattered and cut her homegirl's foot open. Wow. Um, I did when when they started arguing in the kitchen. I had I started recording after she was already pouring the pop. So I had to go to my room and get my phone. It was on the charger. So I got my phone. I came back. I recorded. You know, she's fucking losing her goddamn mind. Like, What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. I, I can't do it. We'll do it live. We'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! I, I'll write it, and we'll do it live! You know, guys, I am still following the uh, sassy situation. Um, of course, you guys know by now, if you hadn't known already, if you've been up under a rock... You know that the sassy trucker is unfortunately detained. I'm going to just say detained right now because it's been several months later. So we're not sure of her current situation. Um, we know she's been arrested, but now we're not sure if she's like on home arrest or something like that. Or maybe she's in jail at a detention center or something like that we don't know all right all we just know is that unfortunately her passport has been taken from her and she can't leave uh dubai until this situation has been cleared of course since her mother came out with the story of course you know houston fox 5 houston picked it up and pretty much after that it just blew up the internet the sassy trucker and her situation broke the internet everybody has commented on this had had did uh commentary uh, stories all this stuff of course i'm still continuing to follow uh the situation as you guys know i posted a video of the meltdown i i call it the meltdown you guys call it whatever you want but it was the meltdown that happened in puerto rico it wasn't in dubai okay it was in puerto rico when they had like a truckers trip girls trip travelers trip or whatever the case they all got together in the airbnb that sassy was able to get uh everybody funded their money through her and she was able to take care of the airbnb uh unfortunately something went down and we have the video of her with a, with a confrontation of what was perceived to be her boyfriend at first but uh i got confirmation because there is a young lady in my comment session as we speak uh she says that that was her husband that sassy got into a confrontation with of course you guys can follow her comments in that particular video okay so now the young lady that recorded the video of the meltdown in the kitchen has come out and she is now talking she's talking to my man the angry man shout out to the angry man he picked up the video and he actually got her on the horn for a quick conversation about what happened over in uh puerto rico per her account let me let me stress this per her account okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna play a little bit of the conversation and then we're gonna we're gonna talk about it My God, that is the best coffee I've ever tasted. Audience or whatever, you feel what I'm saying? Okay. So, um, my real name is Sena. My Instagram is Maxi Marie. I'm the person that shared the video of Tierra, the um female that's locked up in Dubai. I don't want to say this is your friend, 
but how, no, how not my friend not my friend Never not was. your friend okay so this is this is just someone that you know of through another person is, is yes that... um i was friend with her ex-boyfriend i'm friend with females that used to be her friend um we were in a traveling group together and the puerto rico trip was the only trip that i was ever on with her That's so so let me ask you this because the the video that you posted you know what I'm saying? It kind of starts towards the end of it. Uh, well, not the end of it, but it starts after the dude got splashed. So what what happened that led up to that? Okay, so um, I was invited on the trip. Mm -hmm. So she's like, you're not bringing no bitches back to my Airbnb. On the street, she starts trip. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. Like, let's just go. So we all walked off. She stayed out. One of her other homegirls was there too. She's another trucker. She's real skinny. She wrote pretty soon some of her other videos. You look at her Instagram. I think it's like sassy trucker or something like that. But she was cool as fuck. She was so pretty. Like pretty as fuck. Energy, everything. Nice as fuck. Whatever. Every else, everyone else was cool. So let me stop it right there right quick. Um, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Um, when the angry man asked her about the part where she started recording in the video, and we would like to know what ha what led up to the confrontation between Sassy and the young man. She haven't provided to me. She haven't provided any information, like not valuable information. I mean, she talked about everything else about except for what led up to the confrontation between her and and the gentleman like did the gentleman get wrong with sassy did sassy get wrong with the gentleman what's up we at least me i i didn't get none of that and the part where she was talking about the other trucker the other trucker was trucker dial not sassy trucker so that right there kind of kind of gets me suspicious of the real reason why this young lady posted this video that was trucker down not sassy sassy is the one who she's talking about <laughs> okay that sassy trucker little lady the sassy trucker is who you talking about trucker dow is the one that you were saying that was pretty and all that other good stuff let's let's get back so that in the video you can hear someone saying bro that bitch is crazy that girl's crazy yeah that was her cousin she was upstairs going fucking nuts okay so i only recorded short clips of it so i'm like this is stupid so i'm in the pool everyone else is inside so the guys come outside, they're like, she's tripping, whatever. Everybody comes down to the pool. She's still inside, breaking shit, throwing shit. And like on our rooftop of the Airbnb, they had cameras. So the cops come. And they're mm -hmm. like, you know, you guys have to vacate the premises, whatever else. So me and old girl that speaks Spanish, we talk to the police, like we have nowhere else to go. Like we're supposed to leave tomorrow anyways. Can we please just stay for the morning? Like, no, they want you to vacate the premises. Okay, so now the cops is there. You guys talking to the cops. But what happened between Sassy and the gentleman dude? You still haven't said what led up to that. Like, did he disrespect her? Did he, what happened? You still haven't let us know about what happened. I mean. Freedom. <laughs> wow. Oh, too funny. Nice. Um, so we uh, ended up leaving Airbnb the next day, whatever, we all flew home. But throughout the night, she was breaking shit. She was swinging knives. She threw a Duce bottle off the second floor and it shattered and cut her homegirl's foot open. Wow. Um, I did, when when they started arguing in the kitchen, I had I started recording after she was already pouring the pop, so I had to go to my room and get my phone. It was on the charger. So I got my phone, I came back, I recorded. You know, she's fucking losing her goddamn mind, pouring power over him, calling him all type of shit, calling him, the, like, she's black. She's calling him the N-word with the hard R. You know, um, this thing, she's gonna stab him and stab his baby while they're sleeping. She's walking through the hall, like, run, like you know how um, you can run a knife like along the wall? Yeah. She was doing that type of shit. We all had to lock our doors, man. It was just, it was just way, way too fucking much. Why, though? Why? I mean, call, I, guys, I don't think this is what it was supposed to be. 
this this sounds to me this this isn't as exposed this ain't it this sounds like a a bitter ex-friend there's always more to it because like i said this is from her point of view you know they, you know how she's spending the story that night i'm sure the other truckers females the other guys because it, it looked like it was a lot of people there so i'm sure you know she wasn't the only one that was recording that night i'm sure other people was recording and i'm sure they have their accounts of what happened just like the young lady in my comment session she's given her account of what happened that night with her husband but here i'm thinking when i heard it i kind of like said all right cool we about to find out what happened at the at the air you know at the airbnb and so far so far i mm, so far all, all i just heard was just a lot of negative feelings towards a uh, sassy trucker of course she didn't know her her tag name you know she know her as tiara but uh but she thought trucker dow was sassy trucker <laughs> and it wasn't that um she does have a little bit more to say about when they made it back home let's let's hear what she has to say about that right and then you got one bitch ruining everybody's trip you know what i'm saying we're, we're trying to be like the situation she just keeps it going keeps it going keeps it going she was drinking like 10 a.m mm. like just drinking and drinking and then after two so my homeboy called me i want to say about seven months later so they met in california that's where she used to live that's where she grew up or something so her mom and her moved to texas so he's like yeah i'm about to move to texas me and her about to drive trucks together whatever else so they started this um, driving for somebody to move vehicles, like luxury vehicles. And he called me like, hey, bro, you won't believe what happened. I'm like, what happened? He said, this bitch been drinking and driving, transporting vehicles. He like, she was tore the fuck up. I told her to pull over, like, let me drive. She started tripping. She put her hands on him, locked him out of the truck, threw all his shit out, spit in his fucking face. He had to call the police to get his belongings. They both got fired. Mm. And her mom had to bail her out of jail. Wow. Well, there you have it, drivers. Matsy Marie on Instagram. Make sure you guys go over there and check her out. Matsy Marie. Well, that's her account of what happened in uh, Puerto Rico. Shout out to the angry man. Make sure you guys definitely go over there and check out his channel. Good channel. Uh, awesome content. Shout out to him for having Massey marie on to the show in my opinion uh how i feel i i, I still don't know what happened <laughs> i mean what i got this whole conversation guys go over and check out the angry man so you can get the whole uh story but from what i got because i had to go back and listen to it a couple of times while i'm doing this video but from what i got out of it was absolutely nothing I mean, we don't know the reason why Sassy and the, and, and the gentleman got into it. All we just know is that she's crazy, she's this, she's that. Yeah, yeah, strong, hard, felt opinion from Massey Marie. And like I said before, I, I still don't know uh, what happened, but guarantee other people was there recording as well as you guys seen that it was a lot of it was a lot of people there while sassy was on her little meltdown so if anybody else gonna come out and say anything about it only time will tell all right <laughs> only time will tell look i know my subscribers have reached out to me in the background asking me uh have I got in contact with any of her trucker buddies? Uh, I know two of them. I know two of them. One of them was Trucker Dow, which was in the video, and the young lady got the got the names messed up. And the other one, uh, the other one is on Facebook a lot. Between the two, I honestly don't think they're gonna come out. Um, 
I, uh, you know, at, at least not now anyway, you know, like I said before, let's concentrate on getting Sassy back over here in the States where she belongs. Okay. And then once she's back over here, then maybe her friends will come out in defense of her. But until then, I, I honestly don't think that uh trucker dow and her other trucker buddy is going to come out and speak uh at least not right now anyway um same thing with her mother i i i feel that her mom's is probably going to be quiet for a while until uh until we get other news of her actually coming home so until until then you know, we'll just continue to stay on the sassy situation watch. Guys, I will continue to follow the story. I will continue to follow the situation and I will bring it to you as soon as I get it. Big G's got it locked. Boy. Won't you let me all night? Yeah, take me down. Won't you make me real wet? Yeah,